Dear students, other viewers and listeners, you are welcome back to our earlier lecture, in continuation of which we will be talking further. We were discussing symbolic logic, particularly propositional logic and predicate logic. Friends, I mentioned in order to solve problems with the help of computers, especially difficult problems, Knowledge is an essential component which need to be supplied to the computer system. However, supplying knowledge to the computer system is quite a difficult task. A number of issues are associated with knowledge in order to be delivered to the computer system. So one of the issues is that of representation. And out of representational issues, there are a number of representational mechanisms, not each suitable to all type of problems. Therefore, we need to discuss a number of representational mechanisms. Today, we are discussing propositional and predicate logic or symbolic logic, representation of knowledge. In this context, I told you that the knowledge in, through propositional logic are in the is in the form of propositions which are nothing else but state sentences which can be said to be either true or false. Then further I told you that in order to have complex statements, we use logical operators, negation, conjunction, disjunction, implication and by implication. Then I gave an example of because, the word because in English, which is generally confused with implication, is actually not a logical operator and therefore we need to be very careful in making conclusions where the word because is used in a natural language because the word because may be in the logical sense or may be in the non-logical sense. So with this friends, then I told you various inferencing mechanism. What is a mechanism, inferencing mechanism? An inferencing mechanism is a mechanism by which from a set of given statements which are assumed to be true, we conclude a new statement. Now the conclusions which are drawn may be true or may not be true. And depending upon the utility of the conclusion, sometimes we may compromise with the truth of the conclusion. However, in some of the cases like mathematical studies, we never compromise. We want only those conclusions which are true in case the given statements are assumed to be true. So this type of reasoning, which leads to true statements from true, gi true given statements, is called a deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is a reasoning in whatever are given statements to us, if those are assumed to be true, the conclusion must be true, underline the word must be true. However, deductive reasoning is a very sort of pure reasoning in the sense that uh, we, it can be applied only in very restricted areas to make conclusions like mathematics, etc. Then what are the alternatives? Alternatives are, I discussed in the previous lecture, abductive reasoning. Abductive reasoning is a sort of reasoning which the doctors use. That is, actually the doctor treats the disease, not the symptoms. However, the patient can only tell the symptoms. So if a particular disease is there, then we know, the doctor knows these, these, these are the symptoms. For a particular disease, say malaria, the cold is there and so shivering, etc. may be there, cough may be there, etc. But the later ones are just symptoms. This is not the disease. Please don't look at the slide. So these symptoms cannot be called the disease. Disease is malaria, the cold, cough, shivering, etc. are symptoms. However, a patient can enumerate or tell the doctor only the symptoms, not the disease, because he is not the doctor. However, from the given symptoms, the doctor infers the disease and then treats the disease. So friends, in most of the cases, the doctor, if the doctor is really a good doctor, will be correct. 
However, no doctor can be perfect in making conclusion of the disease from the given symptoms. So this type of reasoning in which we use the symptoms to diagnose the disease which may be true in most of the cases but not infallibly true is called an abductive reasoning and is very common in everyday life when our AC or some equipment